This is how I scan the right kidney. I always scan initially supine in the mid axillary line. You have to optimize your depth and you are moving up and down the rib spaces, changing respiration as you go. Once you've got, you can also measure the kidney at this stage. If you have the kidney at 90 degrees to the ultrasound beam and you can see both poles clearly and they look equidistant, then you can measure the kidney in long section. You can also do this in any of the other views as well. Once you've looked at it in long section, you have to sweep right the way through to make sure you've seen all the way through the kidney. You then turn the probe through 90 degrees and then you sweep through the kidney again up and down making sure that you've seen the whole kidney. Do exactly the same thing with the patient in the right anterior oblique position. And as you can see here, we're actually getting a slightly nicer view. We can, we can see the cortex of the kidney, we can see the medullary pyramids, and we can see the medulla. What I then like to do, once I've scanned right the way through in this position, I like to turn the patient turn the patient into the posterior position. Okay, so we're just sweeping right the way through here. And then we'll move the probe posteriorly where we get this lovely view of uh, the kidney which is particularly good for looking at size 